Let's move on to our third main topic today. And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Jeff Singer, who writes, Hello, John and the king of all things verisimilitude, Rob. Since 2013, Hunger Games Catching Fire has held the record for biggest opening weekend for a November film. A very impressive feat, considering what films have come since and have failed to beat it. Uh, do you think either Black Widow or No Time to Die, which right now are both scheduled to come out in November, um, will be the film to beat this record, or will Catching Fire still reign supreme? Thanks, and have a great day. And you know what? Every once in a while you hear records that you think, wait a minute, really? That can't be right. And I remember when I when I first read this question, I'm like, wait a minute, no. Catching Fire isn't still the record holder for November. A lot of big films have come out in November. But guess what? It is. It is still the record holder for the month of November. And it's it's standing up. It basically, November is Twilight Month. But seriously, look at these numbers. Frozen 2 opened in November to $130 million opening weekend. Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1 made 138. Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2 made 141. Twilight Saga New Moon, so November is basically Twilight Month. I think, Rob, I think sometimes we forget how much effing money that Twilight series made. That Twilight series made an ass load of money. An absolute yep. ass load of money. Anyway, and then of course, Hunger Games Catching Fire with the record well in the lead still, a record that still stands about 16 million ahead at 158 million dollars opening weekend okay but this year we got something special happening we've got two significant films coming out in november now we have black widow coming out in november and we also have james bond no time to die two films that were not supposed to open in november but hey times are what they are now they're coming in november rob i think in asking the question about whether either of these films can be the film to beat that catching fire record there are two things to take in consideration number one can either of these films on their own merit be a 158 million dollar opening weekend film and honestly i'm not sure i i i still don't think that while i do believe black widow will be a hit i don't know that i see black widow being a 158 million dollar opening weekend movie even in, in in the best times, even without the circumstances being what they are, I'm not sure because that is do not underestimate how huge of a number that is for an opening weekend. 158 million. I don't know. I, let's just say I had my doubts that that could happen anyway. With James Bond, again, I think James Bond was going to be a big hit, but I still would have my reservations that it could make 158 million opening weekend. So. It's a coin toss to me. It's a coin toss under normal circumstances if either Black Widow or James Bond No Time to Die could beat that Catching Fire record. But Rob, there's also another thing to take into consideration. Even under the assumption that the theaters will be, by November, the theaters will be back open, will be getting back into the swing of things and all that kind of stuff. But there are going to, there's going to be a portion of our population that is going to be a little slower to adapt back to the new normal, right? There's going to be a portion of our population. Uh, not that I'm trying to compare the two situations, but I'm just saying, just, just as, you know, uh, post other crises, it took people, some people jump right back into it. Some people take a little bit longer to get back into it. And I believe we will be back full swing. We will be back full swing. The question is, will we be back 100% total full swing by November? And I'm not sure. I think a lot of people will be, but I don't know that enough people would be that even if Black Widow or No Time to Die under normal stances, under normal circumstances would have beaten the Hunger Games record, I'm not sure that everybody will be back into full swing. I think there are still going to be some people who are going to be playing a little bit more cautious, wait to see to make sure everything's fine and all that kind of stuff before they get back in. So overall, when you take those two things into consideration, Rob, I'm doubting, I doubt that either Black Widow or James Bond, No Time to Die, both of which I think will be hits and do well, I'm doubting either one of them will break that Hunger Games record. Rob, you take a look at this, taking all things into consideration. Can either Black Widow or James Bond beat that Hunger Games record right now? Well, I think, look, I think both of those movies could, under normal circumstances, beat 
that record. I think the possibility is there. More so with Black Widow than Bond, because Bond, even though Bond's been doing great worldwide, you know, the numbers in America are never stellar. I mean, they're never like, oh my God, it made 300 million domestic. But um, like you said, we're not exactly in normal situ a normal situation, and it's really gonna it's really gonna it's gonna be really interesting to see how. I don't think the country is gonna open up automatically. Like everybody's gonna be, it's gonna be a rolling rollout. I mean, things are gonna come back to normal on a state by state basis. It's gonna require testing, just like South Korea. They tested everybody. They found out if people still had the disease or were asymptomatic. They quarantined them. We just right now. We don't have the tests to do that. And until we do, it's going to take months before we can actually responsibly open the country. So it might not be until, I don't know, late summer till the country's even opened. And then you have to convince people that big group gatherings are a good idea. So while the movies are scheduled to still open at the time, I just don't know, John. I think it's a, I think it's a, I, like you, I think it's going to be rough to be able to do those kinds of numbers. Um, but it really depends. It depends on how how quickly I know that uh, the leadership here in the country wants to get back to work, but it's really going to require so we don't have flare-ups or massive second and third waves of this disease, that they do it responsibly. And if they can pull that off and do what we saw in South Korea, which is pretty impressive, uh, they might be able to do it. But I really, it's hard to say right now. But I, I think I, it's I think Here's a question tough. for you. I got a question for you. So, like, I agree. I, I think it's going to be problematic to beat that Hunger Games record. But I still believe that both, even given circumstances as they are, I believe that both Black Widow and James Bond No, no Time to Die will still be successful. Yeah, uh, yeah. Even given the circumstances. Do you feel that way or do you think that their success is even in question at this point? No. Oh, no, no. Because, look, the the places like China where the Marvel movies have been big and, and the Asian markets – well, I don't know. We'll see what happens to Japan, but but they're getting a handle on this and they're going to know. And I still think peep do who does people want to see these movies? I want to see these <laughs> movies. Everybody wants to see No Time to Die and, and uh, Black Widow. I mean, after those trailers, they look great. And if they're great movies, people are going to go. So hopefully um, I, I think they're both going to be hugely successful, frankly. All right, guys, the question is for you. Given the current circumstances, but maybe even without the current circumstances, do you think either Black Widow or James Bond No Time to Die actually stood a shot at beating that Hunger Games record? Because do not underestimate how big that $158 million number is. What do you guys think? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.